Hi, this is Jeff, and I love tech. And I'm going to talk tech for five minutes, and here we go. Okay, in this segment, I'm going to talk about my upgrade of a Dell All-in-One from a state where it barely worked to a state where it's working a lot better than I thought. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the story. I was helping a neighbor with their computer and running very slow, deleting applications, not performing very well, not recognizing USB uh, and ports. It felt a combination of maybe there was a virus, maybe there was something wrong with the hardware. It was really hard to pin down. Nothing was revealed as we worked through it. They decided to get a new computer, and I took the old one to work on it to see if I could determine what's going on. Okay, the first thing that I did was to remove any software that might be causing slowdowns in the system's normal operation. Uh, I look at things like OneDrive virus software, things that are running in the background that may have impact on performance. Given the specs, it probably uh, would have a greater impact than a higher-end machine, so started there. Didn't make that much of a difference, nothing new. I almost still couldn't believe that there was something wrong with the hardware, so I decided to do a factory reset. And uh, that wipes the hard drive. That took nine hours to complete. A task like that should normally take, even on a slow computer, maybe two hours. But it was finally done, nine hours. Uh, and then install the, the operating system and getting through the welcome through the OS was just as painful. It would hang a few times and finally it kicked back into a recovery mode. Uh, at that point, I realized, well, if we'd gotten rid of any virus going back to a default set of OS that was still having these sort of performance issues that the hard drive was probably to blame. So I removed the hard drive. With the back cover off, you'll see in the middle is the place where the motherboard and CPU and RAM are. See the hard drive mounted to the side. That's the one we're going to remove. There's the fan and the heat sink coming from the motherboard. And a fan that blows across that conduit and out the outside. And there's these two speakers. And that's about it. So we'll take the hard drive off now. One simple screw holds that hard drive in place and then it unplugs. It's got a little case that it sits in. And we'll just remove that screw, pull the hard drive off, and it's done. Installed a new, brand new OS from scratch, went through the setup process, and did some benchmarking, and here's the results that I got there. So here's the mapping done by a utility called Nova Bench. And it shows sequential reads and sequential writes and random reads, random writes. And the one interesting note is the random write. It is a one, one megabit per second. And that seems to be the culprit that's slowing the entire PC down. While I had the computer open, and I looked in my drawer and I had an old SSD drive, only 128 gigabyte, but I thought that'll work perfect to do a test and see, can I make this computer go any faster? And luckily it pulled off that cover in the middle and had an M.2 slot that was not used. Put that in, later I added a heat sink and here are the results. Overall, I couldn't be more happy with the results. The SSD outperforming the other two drives pretty handily in most cases. I might be upgrading the RAM and see what that does. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here I am just launching multiple applications, just showing you how responsive the system is and usable the system is, which regardless of numbers, can I use it? Can I switch apps? 
Can I load apps? Can I move from app to app very easily? Order them, move them around? And this just shows that things just uh, this seem to be going really, really well. Very happy with the result.